what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to talk about cotton weary and him not dying in scream 3 or hypothetically speaking if he were to not have died in scream 3 because i still to this day it's been lingering in, my, lingering in my mind for many years i do not think cotton weary should have died like that at the opening of scream 3 i think it should have been someone else and i'll get into that person in a minute but we know that from the get-go from the beginning of the very first scream and as the movie's progressing cotton weary was a character who was wrongfully identified and being connected to a murder he did not commit now the only reason he was involved in that is because his only crime was being in relations with a married woman having an affair while this woman was married marine prescott sydney's mother and then during of course the investigation it's implied that they found out about these affairs and they started connecting the dots sydney saw someone leaving the house the night her mother was murdered so when all of that came to light she identified cotton as the one she saw leaving that house when we really came to find out that it was not cotton it was her boyfriend billy leaving the house and then we know that Stu Mocker was his partner. They both were the ones that killed Sydney's mother, not Cotton Weary. Cotton Weary spent a year in prison wrongfully. He ended up getting out once the truth came out. And also he was uh he was trying to like clear the dirt of his name, clear the dirt from his name and have his have all that dirt washed away by reconciling things with Sydney Prescott in Scream 2. He had some grudges against her, rightfully so. He got a bit out of line towards the end when he was intimidating her and confronting her in the library. He got a little bit out of line, but rightfully so. He had every right to be upset with Sidney Prescott at that point. Ultimately, though, Sidney understood that while he may have been out of line, his anger isn't just stemming from nothing. She she owes him something to, to some degree. So I appreciated the fact that at the end of Scream 2, we saw that transition where she was the one who gave him the dirt on his name and then now she's the one giving him all of this all of this uh, cleansing of his name. At the end of Scream 2, we know that led to him getting a lot more attention in the press, which led to him getting his own talk show, 100% Con for Scream 3, only to then be killed at the very beginning. And it's just like, wow, like we're seeing Cotton thriving and doing better for himself since that whole ordeal he went through. And, you know, it kind of kind of like nice to see that. I know a lot of people who I've like watching Scream through with a lot of my friends when they watch it, they're like, oh, wow, it's nice to see that he's he has something good going for him. Then he's just killed. It's like, wow, like, really? Like we could have gotten more development out of this character to a degree. I would understand it had the had the series remained a trilogy and still i kind of think i would have been on the fence about that because killing off cotton seemed very seemed like a wrong idea to do in terms of how the narrative went with scream 3 because we know we ended up getting roman bridger as the killer who ended up being sydney's half brother and the indirect mastermind of everything he was the orchestrate he orchestrated the killing of marine prescott his own mother and cotton Cotton was his first victim in Scream 3, but we found out during Scream 3 that Roman was trying to find Sydney to lure her out of hiding. What better way to lure Sydney Prescott out of hiding than killing Neil Prescott? If you killed off Neil Prescott, I feel like Neil Prescott, because Neil Prescott still lived in Woodsboro from what we saw in Scream 3. He visited Sydney out in her little house she was living in in the mountains when she was in hiding. So what better way to draw your sister out of hiding than trying to instead of trying to contact and locate her you're already so close to tapping into uh the records at at woodsboro that dewey had to hide try to get in contact and kill her father i think the opening kill in scream 3 should have been neil prescott neil prescott should have been the opening kill because i feel like that would have that would have been another nice layer to the reveal of roman bridger because roman had his mother killed because he thought that Sydney stole something from him and his his whole motive when you start to think about things yes to a logical person's mind like myself it doesn't make sense you had you you had your own mother killed because you thought that your sister stole everything from her but at the same time that's not really why he had marine killed marine ultimately was killed because roman was heartbroken that she rejected him so having that heartbreak knowing that his half sister stole his mother he wanted to steal a parent from her so what better way than to kill neil prescott neil prescott should have been the opening kill for scream 3 because that would have been another thing that sent home what happened at the end of the film when roman revealed himself he went over his motive and he was explaining how sydney was going to pay for everything he stole from him everything that she he thought that she stole from him 
well now that you have you kind of got some 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 payback because you would have killed her father cotton weary honestly should have remained alive because his character and that relationship that he could have had developed with sydney over the course of screen four maybe even screen five i think that would have been nice to see i feel like cotton's death while i i'm not very upset about it i still think like wow in terms of where scream 3 went neil prescott seems like he would have fit the mold better especially considering that you guys killed neil prescott off screen anyway neil prescott could have been the opening killer screen 3 cotton could have been alive and thriving um I don't think he should have died in Scream 3 if he was not the opening kill. I would have kept Cotton Weary alive. I would have added him to this trio. I would have just made him like a part of the a part of the dynamic. He could have been the fill-in for Randy Meeks. I know a lot of you don't even like Randy Meeks. So <laughs> Cotton Weary could have been a replacement for Randy in this group. But those are just my thoughts on that. And the whole idea with Neil Prescott again, I just think that if you killed Neil Prescott at the beginning of the of Scream 3 that would have been much more relevant to Roman Bridger's motive and his my, his mentality that Sydney stole his childhood, stole his mother, stole everything. Everything that she had should have been his, including all of this fame that she's getting, because we know Roman was struggling as a director. Um, he wanted to make a real classic love story, but the studio said he had to do this scary movie for them first. And that's exact, that's his, in fact how he found out about the Woodsboro killing sprees because he, he had to apparently done research because before that, during his reveal, he makes it known that he had no idea about any of that stuff. He did not know about any of that stuff until the studio came to him with staff. He did his research and he learned about all of these things, all of these things that had went on in Woodsboro after he left. So to add on to his motive and make it more relevant i think neil prescott should have been the opening kill in scream 3 not cotton weary because cotton weary's character his character development and the way we could have gotten more out of him to see to see him in a more positive light sure at the end of scream 2 it's rectified and in scream 3 we get to see him have his nice little moment where he's finally not getting his name dragged through the mud but then you just kill him it's just like it felt very anticlimactic for his character because it's just like wow everything came to a, came to an abrupt halt ha, like i made mention of had the series had stated a trilogy i would not have had really any issue with it but it's the fact that i know screen four exists and now we're going to get screen five and i keep thinking to myself there could have been so much more done with this character had the film had the film series stated the trilogy arc though i would not be thinking these things it's really coming down to the fact that i know we're getting more screen films we already got screen four they were planning to already do five and six and that's when i was actually thinking about these back when screen four came out and they were talking about five and six cotton weary should have remained alive he should have remained alive he should have been a part of that part of the dynamic that relationship between him and sydney growing and being more positive should have been prevalent just like it is with sydney and gail weathers that could have been a very dynamic duo there that very the whole idea of cotton weary dying at the at the beginning of scream 3 the more that i think about it and the more that i talk about it in this video it does bother me a lot it does bother me because i feel like it's not as pertinent to what happened at the end with the reveal and i feel like it's kind of lackluster for his character and i feel like the person who fit the mold better to fulfill that role and to send roman bridger's motive home would have been neil prescott that easily would have drawn your sister out of hiding since that's what ghostface was trying to do he was trying to locate sydney what better way than to draw her out of hiding than sparking interest in investigating who the hell just killed her own father she's gonna have an interest in that that's her father she doesn't care about cotton <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video